Welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to make some breakfast quesadillas. Let's get it. Welcome back, Towners. All right, today, to start off this recipe, uh, we have two pots here going on. We're going to be doing some multitasking here. Uh, in the first pot on the left, or both pots, we added in some olive oil in both pans. And then uh, on the left, we added in some uh, ribeye steak. This is some leftover steak that we had uh, from the previous night. Uh, we cubed that steak up and then added in some onions to that. And then on the right, we put in uh, three eggs and scrambled that up and added that to the pot. On the, the left, uh, this is over just a medium, uh, medium low heat just to warm this up because it's already cooked. And then we have the eggs over uh, medium, medium high. Uh, we season that up with some salt and pepper and then use our spatula to get around the edges to make sure that none of it's stuck to it. And uh, just uh, continue to cook this down. Once the uh, bottom half is solidified on the eggs, uh, we're basically going to uh, flip that over we're also going to add in some of our homies to it first we're going to put in some jalapenos on that and then once we flip it we're going to add some uh, cheese on top of that some shredded cheese and then top that off with a low carb quesadilla uh, this is definitely a dirty keto folks for uh, the people doing uh, straight keto um, you may, may want to you can do a cheese shell if you wanted to uh, but basically we're, once we get that cheese uh, to melt from the heat from the eggs and then once it sticks to the uh, to the to the tortilla shell we're going to flip that over to brown the other half of the top half basically of the tortilla shell top that off with uh, our onion and steak mixture and put some more cheese on top of it and good to go for that one put it in a bowl and a plate and uh, flip it over and make a quesadilla we then made a second one this is a two egg uh, omelet so to speak also uh, season that also with some salt and pepper and once we got the bottom half that solid went ahead and flipped that over as well we didn't add any jalapenos to this one uh, but we did put some cheese on it and then put also another uh, tortilla shell on this one once the residual heat from the eggs uh, heated the uh, cheese and let that a good uh, connection with the tortilla shell we flipped that over as well Top that again with our steak and onion mixture. And uh, once that was heated through, added some cheese on top and we're good to go with that one as well. Took that out of the pan and placed them onto our cutting board. This is both of them. On the left, we have the three egg breakfast quesadilla. On the right is the one with two eggs on it. Uh, took a knife, cut them in half. And here we are opening it up to let you see the insides of it. Uh, you can see all of the ingredients that we have in it. The, uh, uh, the steak, onions, cheese, egg, and jalapenos. And here is the two egg breakfast quesadilla that we made, which just has this steak and onions, egg, and cheese. This is our uh, final product. I basically just fold them over and stack them up on top of each other. Uh, on the left again is the three egg breakfast quesadilla with jalapenos on the right is a two egg one uh, this can you can do this with multiple different combination of meats if you wanted to if you wanted to you can do use chicken or you can do a straight veggie one um, you could also just scramble the eggs up you can melt the cheese and veggies all together on the bottom layer and then scramble the eggs put them on top however you want to do it multiple different ways just using a tortilla shell to have another easy on the go meal uh, but the flavor of these came out great. Um, steak and onions, great combination always. And the uh, jalapenos added a bit of a kick to it. You know, jalapenos and everything. <laughs> you know how we do it. Uh, this is the, the two egg one that we made for my wife. Um, you know, she doesn't like it always as spicy as I do. Well, I mean, she doesn't like it as spicy, period. But every now and then she'll tolerate it. Um, but this came out great. Took a bite of this one. And um, I thoroughly enjoyed this one. I plan on, you know, trying this out also again with different ingredients and different flavors just to see what goes on with that. But hope you guys like this recipe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching. Enjoy.
enjoy. And please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey guys, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. All menu items are listed in the description box. And thank you guys for watching.